Hi Book Talk, Nick's Book Nook here, and I just finished up with my book club's book of the month, Mad Honey by Jodi Picoult. And I am mad honey, okay? Really, really liked it. It was good. I was a little concerned with some of the reviews that I read. All in all, a Jodi Picoult novel. I mean, if you've read them, you know. So a lot of twists and turns that I did not see coming. Some that I did. I'm torn on what to rate this in terms of stars. I'm gonna go with four. I did breeze through it, so I read it in like two days. Super easy read. I really like the alternating perspectives between Lily, who is the main character. I'm trying to not give too many spoilers away, and Asher's mom. Um, I, I thought that was unique how it went between like Asher's girlfriend and Asher's mom. The main twist, like halfway through the book, maybe a little more than halfway, was phew. now I was kind of like filled in on that by some friends prior. So I kind of saw it coming. I didn't know the specifics, but. I digress. It was still really, really good. I really liked all the references and all like the fun facts about bees and the symbolism between the bees and the honey throughout the book that was woven in. Really, really liked that. I also really, really enjoyed how she incorporated characters from past novels, like Jordan from 19 Minutes. Now, I'd have to go back and refresh my memory. I have not read 19 Minutes in probably, without exaggerating, about 15 years. I read that book when I was super, super young, probably younger than I should have. I just remember how good it was. I kind of remember a crazy twist at the end, not the specifics, but Jordan, the defense attorney, is the defense attorney from uh, 19 Minutes. So that was interesting. I'm not sure if that's something that she's done in past work or not. Uh, I am curious to know what you guys thought about it, though, and what you thought of the end. I've got my issues with the end. Again, not to give too many spoilers away, but... Okay, the ending... It was more of like a who done it and I think I kind of started to figure out who done it before the end. That wasn't even what bothered me the most of the person that did it. It was what happened to the person. So we go through this whole book discussing a trial and then the person that committed the crime comes out and admits to committing the crime and we're just like, mm, they're fine. No. That's not, I'm not okay with that. I also thought that that reveal towards the end of the book was very rushed. The whole end of the book, I did not think tied everything up as nicely as I would have thought. I liked the overall book itself. That's why I'm giving it the four star rating. However, I think if she did a better job at unveiling that final reveal a little bit better, I probably would have given it four and a half, closer to five stars, because I did really, really like the contents and the body of the book. I loved the beginning, the middle, it's just that ending, you know? And I know she is notorious for her twists, like I said before. It wasn't my favorite Jodi P. Cole novel I've ever read. It was probably, it's in top five, I would say. I probably only read like seven. Um, so I don't know. If you guys have read Mad Honey, let me know your thoughts without spoiling anything for my readers or my book club members. Um, but yeah, this was our book club book of the month. Our next meeting for our book club is on November 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. So join us. Even if you haven't read the book, there's still plenty of time for you to do so. So you could read it before or you could even just join the meeting closer to the end to find out what our next month's book is if Mad Honey is not your speed. So I hope to see you guys there. I am curious if any of you have read this what your favorite Jodi Picoult novel is if you haven't read it, and how you rank this one compared to others. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.